The closure of Melbourne Airport following the volcanic ash and inability to get a flight home from Sydney saw Richmond take a 10-hour bus trip home. So facing the lines at the Gabba after a short turnaround would be the ultimate test to show just how well the Tigers recovered. Things began heating up even before kick-off, resulting in line Ash McGrath temporarily coming off the field under the blood rule. Leaves the ground. Wow. That little fracker. He's got a cut lip for the peers. Brisbane responded on the score sheet with an opening double. Newman attacked it. Attacking it equally good was power. Slick handball. Buick back to back goals to the Lions. James Polkinghorne snapped Brisbane's third. Numbers back of the pack. Quick kick round the corner. Collier. It's in the book. Polkinghorne in fact. And when Mitch Clark took a well-contested grab, a good grab under pressure too. the Lions were on the verge of one of their best starts. If he was able to thread this, oh. Oh. it would be simply outstanding. With five behinds in Richmond struggling to get inside the forward 50, Sean Grigg finally broke the drought. Grigg with a long ball, rewind with McGuire, bouncing ball. Tyron Vickery finding further momentum to cut Brisbane's lead to nine at three-quarter time. Richmond were keeping the pressure on as Dustin Martin made it a three-point game. While Vickery put the Tigers in front for the first time. Doesn't make any mistake, Richmond had the lead. Clark restored the host's lead with his second. From 48 metres, leans back and nails the goal. In what was shaping up as a seesawing turn, the Lions then paid the price when Brad Miller booted an impressive free kick. It's a tight angle. Oh, that's not tight at all. What a goal from Brad Miller. It got worse when Clark went down with a worrying ankle injury. While Jack Revolt finally found his mojo, taking a well-contested mark and converting it for his first major. It's out to 10 points now. rewalt has got his first and Richmond may have control of the game. The Lions nightmare meanwhile continued with an interchange infringement against them, awarding Richmond a free kick. As Brisbane turned to their skipper for inspiration, Jonathan Brown didn't disappoint. You better believe it. What a goal. Tom Collier could have put Brisbane ahead again. Instead, the Lions were left trailing by three points at half time. Vickery found space to set up his third. Well, he did the same thing in the first quarter. Missed the first one, got the second one. Can he do it on this occasion? It's working back, it's working back. Tyrone Vickery, all class. But Ton Banfield ensured the host stayed in touch. Swept on by Banfield. They'd love this. They'd love this. And they get it. Young sub Patrick Kinesis became Brisbane's ninth debutant. And what a dream start he had. Brown's got to do it all. Superhuman effort. Kinesis. Free. Kinesis, first kick, first oh. goal. Can you believe it? Revolt, though, put Richmond back on top. Tight angle. Normally very good in front of goal. Jack Revolt makes it look so easy. They continue to pile on the pressure. Robin Naha set up Trent Cochin. Comes off to Cochin. Left foot kick. Working back. Won't work back enough. Or will it? Oh, what a ripping goal. Martin now at his third for the visitors' biggest lead so far. Only for Kinesis to pull one back just before three-quarter time. His first game of football, Oakley charges, he leans back and delivers on the biggest stage of his life. Down by 16 heading into the final term, Banfield made a crucial breakthrough. And when the Lion King marked inside the 50, the hosts were within striking distance. So many times before, John O'Brown has done what we've just Shoot. witnessed right there. Vickery proved the difference. His fourth swinging the momentum back the Tigers' way. Has brought it back nicely, and that is a brilliant fourth goal. Martin followed suit to match Vickery's tally, while Nathan Foley celebrated his 100th in style. Desperate last line of defence. Oh, it's still not away. Richmond through. Foley celebrates game number 100. And when Brett Delidio booted the Tigers fourth straight, the bus experiment looked to have paid off. Perhaps they should go home on a bus more often. Martin's fifth putting the result beyond doubt as Richmond held on to record their fifth win of the season. The Tigers winning 18-17-125 to 14-10-94, a 31-point victory. Daniela Intilli, Big Pond Sport.